In this tutorial, I will be showing you step by step how to download, unzip, and install Microsoft Office Professional 2010. For this tutorial, I will be using Google Chrome as my browser. It's important that you use Google Chrome to make it easier for you to follow along. The first thing you need to do is to log in to eLearn. After logging in, you should see an overview of all your courses you're currently enrolled in. On the top left corner, if you look at the breadcrumb trail, you can see the title Overview of My Courses. That's how you know you're in the right place. Now for me, I've only enrolled in one class, but you'll probably see anywhere from two to four classes on your page. Now this tutorial is for those of you that are currently enrolled into CIS 110 Integrated Business Applications. So that's the class I'm going to click on. The first thing we need to do is to download Microsoft Office. In order to do that, we have to find the download link. The download link can be located on the software page. If you look over here to the left side of the CIS 100 course page, you will see a link that says software page. Go ahead and click on that. And now if you scroll down a little bit, you can see the link for Office Professional 2010. To the right, you can actually see some instructions on how to install this file. These are actually the instructions I'm going to be going through in this video. Let's go ahead and click on the link to, the, to begin the download. If you're using Google Chrome, you will see a bar pop up at the bottom part of your screen and the download on the bottom left-hand corner. This is a rather large file, so it could take up to an hour to download depending on your internet speed. After the download completes, just click the down arrow next to it and click Show in Folder. Once you find the file, just right click on it and click Extract All. Then click on Browse. Then at the bottom left, you're going to want to make a new folder. And go ahead and name that folder something like MS Office or something that will help you remember it. then go ahead and click OK and now just click extract now this process could also take a while okay after it extracts a dialog box will pop up showing you the folder but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the desktop so I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna close my browser window and I'm gonna close this other window and here on the desktop you can see the MS Office folder that we created. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to go down to where it says setup. I'm going to double click that. And it'll bring up this screen that says do you want this program to make changes to your computer? Go ahead and click yes. and now it's bringing up the uh, install dialog box now here you want to click install now now if this is your first time installing Microsoft Office it might pop up with a dialog box that says you need to accept these uh, terms of use before you can install this program and all you have to do is just check the box and click next now we're going to wait for this to install. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. This could take several minutes. It is a rather large file. So it could take up to 20, 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause. Okay, after the install is done, go ahead and click close and close out of the folder. Now we're going to show you how to request a key to be able to fully use your software. The software you just downloaded is a 30-day trial and it's a fully functional 30-day trial. Um, once that trial is up, however, you will need to enter a uh, software key and that's what we're going to show you right now. Now in order to request this key, we have to go back to the software page. So after you log into eLearn and you click on CIS 110, over on the left hand side again you'll see the software page now right beneath the link for office 2010 you'll see step 2 license key request form 
you just click on that and you go ahead and fill out the information and after you're done you'll just click submit form and your key should be sent to you within two weeks typically so you might want to do it um, maybe on your 15th or 20th day of use of your uh, Microsoft Office trial now I'm also going to show you where the software has installed to if you go to your start menu and just click all programs and you scroll down you'll see Microsoft Office here you click in it and here's all of the office programs you get and that is it that is how you install Microsoft Office 2010 thank you